Alright guys, so welcome back, and in this game, as promised, the only thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to say, when the meatball comes to a complete stop, then basically destroy it and give me another bullet. So right now, we shoot our tower, and we're out of bullets. Not very fun. So, in order to do this, we need to head over to the event sheet, and the event for this, or the thing we're going to be checking for, is we're going to be looking at the meatball's velocity. So at event meatball and this is actually called compare la 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 under physics compare velocity so it's gonna say it's gonna give us a couple options for velocity the x y or overall velocity in other words the overall speed of the meatball so what we want to do is we want to say is this meatball less than or equal to and this is where it's uh, kinda of weird 0 0.1 now why don't we just say is it equal to zero well the reason that you never want to do this whenever you're making a game is because sometimes computers get hung up and they store um, like the number zero they treat it as a really small number like point zero 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 one so if we just put equal to zero even though the meatball it'll it would appear that it's not moving it could have an internal um, value stored for velocity of like 0 .0001 and the user would just look at it like uh... what do I do now so that's why in this case you want to put less than or equal to a value of something like 0.1 or something that's really small set done so that's what we're looking for and whenever this happens in other words whenever the meatball stops moving then what action do we want to complete well, all we want to do is destroy the meatball. So, meatball, destroy. So, here's the logic of this right now. Right now, we shoot the meatball, and whenever it stops moving or goes off the screen, it gets destroyed. Now, whenever the meatball is destroyed, then what it does is the camera scrolls back to the cannon, and it also makes it so you can fire another meatball, sets it back to zero. So now let's go ahead and play this and check it out. Of course, like before, whenever our meatball goes off the screen, we get another one. And now, whenever our meatball comes to a complete stop, it disappears automatically. But I don't know if you guys saw that, but check it out. It's kind of weird because the meatball just gets destroyed like instantly. And it's kind of uh, um, awkward like looking at it disappear that quickly. So what we can do in order to uh, kind of fix that is after um, this right here after the meatball gets destroyed well where can we put this alright so even though we'll move this around a little bit what we want to do is on this event where the meatball comes to a complete stop do this add another action and this is actually going to be a system action and this is probably easier if, if I just uh, code it first and then show you guys what I'm doing so add a system action and type wait and put something like 1.5 and hit done. And now take this new action and if you click and drag it, you can put it right above meatball destroyed. Now all this action does is it pretty much, um, it doesn't do anything else for 1.5 seconds. So you're saying, okay, whenever the meatball comes to a complete stop, wait for 1.5 seconds which gives the user a little bit of time to realize like look around their game and see the destruction that they got and then destroy the meatball so now whenever we play the game it just doesn't disappear instantly destroy your tower waits a little bit and then the meatball gets destroyed pretty sweet so that's what we wanted and now we can fire another one it doesn't disappear right now but right then so of course we don't want uh, everything to happen instantaneously or else it'll kind of mess with the user and no games do that it's just too confusing and that is also another really handy command wait so you know you're gonna probably be using that a lot in your game development but for now thank you guys for watching and in the next tutorial um well we got a few more things to cover before this game is done so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time